We know we have a lady in West Wing in a long white dress. There's a woman in a white gown. This could be like West Wing, Jared. We've got Ghost Tube rolling and we are walking down West Wing. But we would love to talk. Are you okay? Are you here to help? Are you someone helpful, like a matron, a nurse? But I think she's there to look after the lost souls that are in West Wing. Because occasionally you'll hear, are you okay? There are certain buildings that have been sites of such extreme trauma. Many years can pass and that energy will still linger and even manifest into something darker. Jay Ward, a former prison and asylum for the criminally insane, is one such place. And somewhere I have investigated the paranormal previously. During our last overnight stay, we had experienced some pretty intense activity and I'd of course always wanted to return since. Crypt Keepers, I am in a regional part of Victoria, Australia known as Ararat and I'm super pumped, very excited because I'm investigating Jay Ward, an old prison and asylum that is right behind me. I have been here before, I visited a number of years ago now and it was a really freaky experience so I've always wanted to come back. It is raining, it is freezing cold, it's windy so it's going to be a good night, hopefully that brings some of the energy. There is actually one area that last time honestly scared me. That place is pure nightmare fuel. Naturally, I'm stoked to be back and go down into that area because I want to reinvestigate it. I want to see if I can get some similar evidence to what I had last time, which was particularly dark. Last time we were here, the bathroom in particular was really creepy. I think that's definitely a place we want to hit again. But then again, this place has so much history, so many stories. So really, no matter where we investigate, I'm sure it's going to be a good investigation. I'm also joined by some friends tonight. I've got Paranormal Quest and Adelaide's Haunted Horizons hanging about. So I'm keen to see what they pull out of this place. It's going to be a fun night, so stay tuned. Jay Wood started its life out with a different name. The Ararat County Jail was opened in 1861 after the Australian state of Victoria saw a rapid population growth due to prosperous gold fields. That, in turn, brought along with it an increase in crime. The jail functioned through until the 1880s when it would close as the gold fields began to dry up. Later, in 1887, the building was renamed to Jay Wood and repurposed to become part of the Aradale Lunatic Asylum, another incredibly haunted place where I had just investigated and had some truly frightening experiences, which you can watch now on my channel. Jay Wood was used to hold those deemed criminally insane, and who were too dangerous and violent to be kept within Aradale. The maximum security setting would operate through until the 1990s, when the building was closed for good. Today, Jay Wood is still claimed to be a paranormal hotspot, something we can attest to ourselves. People to visit have seen full apparitions, heard strange noises, seen unexplainable lights, captured voices from the past and even been physically attacked by unseen entities through bites, scratches and pushes. Because of this, we thought best to start our investigation in what many claim to be the darkest area of the old prison and asylum. It's underground. This is a place where a former kitchen and governor's bathroom quarters existed, and where some even claim demonic activity to centre. Crypt Keepers, feels good to be back at J Ward. How does it feel, Jared? It feels really good, and like we're actually right now in the part that creeps me out the most. So, do we have to start down here? Couldn't we have done like the cell block or something? No, let's just start with the worst. <laughs> like a band aid, you know? Let's walk right in here. Rip that band aid off. <laughs> Oh yeah, how could I forget this bit? Oh yeah, you can't forget a place like this. So Jared and I investigated Jay Ward a couple years ago. Uh, we came in here, had some really weird experiences, said to be one of the most haunted areas. This is a former bathroom that looks straight out of a horror movie. There's a dark entity down here named The Butcher. Former prisoners were rumored to be murdered here. People say that they get bitten, scratched, pushed, attacked. And just to let you know, Jared, uh, a couple days ago, Saturday, two days ago, someone was physically attacked down here. They were scratched across the arm, a male. So is this one of those only males get attacked down here? Like one of those things? I don't actually think so. I think anyone is ripe for the picking down here. So if there's anybody here in this room of us, my name's Amy, this is Jared with me, you might remember us. I spent some time alone in here a few years ago and you had some colourful words to say, things that were kind of dark. Get up. 
Okay, I just started recording and it said devil, which is scary, but I didn't see it actually come up and say it, if that makes sense. Alright, it's got a note. Kill. Killed. Grave. 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 Okay, well, there are graves here. I was going to say, were prisoners buried here? There were three executions here, and the prisoners that were executed are buried within the jail. I believe that we had grave or something come up last time we were down here, did we? Grave is actually a word that we received in this underground space during our last investigation years earlier. Grave. Can you tell us where your grave is? Where you're buried? Or where you were laid to rest? Is that coming from the kitchen? There's a click just behind you. I think I'm hearing noises come from the kitchen as well. Hello? There is a storm blowing through tonight, so we've got some super rainy weather. Can hear rain out there, is that what you're hearing? Maybe. I swear it felt like shuffling, but yeah, it could have been that maybe. And I mean, there's weird acoustics down here, it's very echoey. Last time we were here, this room here was very interesting for Jared. I don't know if there's anyone here that remembers Jared. He played some games with you last time he was here. I'm back. It was really weird. It was actually kind of creepy, but at the same time, very interesting. It was like there was a playful spirit in here because I kept getting words like, play with me or I'm hiding or come find me or something like that. This is a storage room, but there are actually stories of children that are said to still hang around in this underground area. Don't play with us again. Maybe a game of hide and seek. Just come up to my hand. Maybe you can talk to us. From memory, they really liked toy-like. Related. Related. Who are you related to? Does Jared remind you of some someone? Are you looking for a relative? Are the children related? Part of the story is that they're looking for their mother. Two little boys. Anyone here who wants to talk? Can we have a name, please? So I know this was used as a kitchen. Is uh, the chef here? Is the chef in the house? I heard that you're still about. Is this the same chef that doesn't like men touching the stuff? The very same. Should I do it? Is it okay if I do some work in the kitchen? Jared will help you. He's not touching them to be impolite. He can be useful sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it's not okay, Jared. Don't. Why don't you want me to touch this? That was really cool that that said no when I started touching it. That is probably our most intelligent response tonight. Having already received some interesting responses, we decided to try to reach out and use a brand new method of communication that had never been attempted at this location before. This saw me perform an SD session while sitting in the bathtub where multiple murders supposedly happened. Here, I wore noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box and relayed anything I heard come through, while Jared asked questions I could not hear. However, instead of wearing a blindfold, which is standard for an SDs, I wore ghost tube lens while watching ghost tube seer. This displayed visual white noise to me, and a certain environmental readings triggered a prompt to our artificial intelligence algorithm that would create unique and descriptive imagery. In addition to this, we also set up a ghost tube SLS camera to monitor for figures within the kitchen. We've also got the tripwire, which is just going for now. We just have the tripwire down here, down the hallway, leading into the bathroom where Amy is. Jared, I just heard my name come through the spirit box. Okay, my name's Jared, that's, well, Amy, you already know that, I guess. Who are we speaking to? Miss. Can you come out here and push this red thing on the staircase? You did it early while we were setting up. It'll let me know that you're here. If you go up to that lady in the bathtub, you might be able to... Um, Liver. You might be able to tell her who you are. While you're down here. <gasps> Whore. Was Whore. Was that you just came down the staircase? Can you tell me what happened down here at the bottom of the staircase? It's him. It's him. Who is it? 
How do you feel about her being in there with you? Here. I'm dead. How many people are in there right now? With with her? I've always got an SOS camera rolling in the kitchen, guys, because we got the word no when I was touching the, the stuff before in there. I've got an image coming through. What are you seeing? It's like a big building. Maybe there's some fire. Was there a fire here? A big building with lots of windows. It could be a jail, to be honest. Did that happen here? I'm not sure this image could actually be relevant. I've tried to find a historical link to fire at Jay Ward or the Ararat County Jail, and I cannot do so. Yet this doesn't mean to say that smaller fires, such as the one depicted in the image, didn't occur from time to time. I do, however, know that arsonists were kept within the Ararat County Jail, so who knows? Maybe this image did hold some meaning. What do you think it could represent? Can you come back to the staircase here with me just to show me that you can hear what I'm saying? No. Why not? I'm hearing noise in there with Amy. All right, I'm seeing a lot of green. I think that I'm looking at an abandoned building in a grassy field. It's hard to say whether that's relevant, but I mean, there could have been a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds through here. Maybe some from farms or from regional areas, you know. I was charged. What were you charged with? That's interesting. What were you charged with? Why are you here? Can you tell us that? Amy's doing the Esther, so I can't ask her to Turn. Turn. That's the kitchen there. Why did you ask me to turn? Is there someone in there? <gasps> Trip wire just went off. John. Is that your name? Oh, it's really cold here now. It's a pretty cold night, but it just felt like it wafted out of that room. Thank you. Is that you? Can you do that again? We are. Thank you. How many are you? How many are you? How many are there? Who's we? Boys. Boys? Is that the children that are hanging around down here? What about them? What about the boys? If you touch that device on the head, you might be able to make it generate words, which can in turn generate an image so we can see what you're trying to convey. I've got another image. I'm seeing... Thank you. There's a white hallway with a fa big face to the left. And then there's one, two, three, at least four people standing to the right looking at me. That's really creepy. Uh, the face looks female and she's kind of staring at me. There's a woman in a white gown. This could be like West Wing, Jared. I don't know, uh, is this like a matron? This isn't what I'm hearing, this is, a, I'm asking a question. Can you tell us who Amy is seeing, who she's seeing? Are there people that used to live here or work here? This was an extremely relevant image to receive in regards to Jay Ward, especially since it resembles West Wing, which is the very area where a spirit known as the Matron has been sighted by many. Well, we're not sure who she is, but we know we have a lady in West Wing that walks down the center of the corridor and she stands and walks and she rubs her hands together like this. And she has been seen by quite a few people. A matronly looking woman, sort of that type of face, um, in a long white dress. We don't know where she came from, but I think she's there to look after the lost souls that are in West Wing. Because occasionally you'll hear, are you okay? So we think she could be just a matron from a psychiatric unit somewhere that has decided to stay here and look after the boys. Well, one night, I was telling the stories about what they were going to see in West Wing and a lady said, oh, that's a lot of rubbish. And I said, well, in you go. And she did. And she probably got 12 or 14 steps inside and she just let out an, an almighty screech. And I went running in and said, are you OK? What can I do? How can I help you? And I said, oh, Matron's just walked through you, hasn't she? And she went, no, she's still inside me. Well, I freaked out thinking, what am I going to do? 
and while I'm panicking, she took a deep breath and Matron walked through her. So uh, she was quite scared for the rest of the night um, and stayed very close to me. And, um, but, you know, we finished the tour and she was okay. But I do think it was Matron that walked through her. Can you walk towards me, towards my voice now? You might be able to trigger those lights that are on the floor there. Hi. Hello. Can you tell us what does that mean to you, that place? I just heard footsteps in there with Amy. What was that noise in there? Can you tell me? Been there. What was that noise in there? What, oh, Daddy? I've got another image. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of orange. Do you like her being down here? Um, oh, I can't tell what this is yet. I mean, this could be underground, like a tunnel. It's orange, red. Is it the tunnel I'm in now? Is that what you're showing us? Uh, there's something circular, like maybe... Uh, I really don't know what I'm looking at. Like lava. Can I come in? Stop. Do you not want me to come in? You should. Okay. The final image I received through Ghost Tube Seer was not something I could make out in this moment, but upon allowing Jared to review the images I had received after our session, he immediately noticed that it looked like a rusted old bathtub, complete with a drain and tap or faucet, which is of course extremely creepy and relevant to where I was sitting. Can you see it? Keepers, Jared and I have come down to West Wing and there is a good reason for that. The sea session that we just did underground has genuinely freaked me out. So we came up here because one of the images that was produced down there to me really looks like a matron, someone wearing a sort of white dress. It also kind of looked like a lit up corridor, very much that looks like in this area of the asylum. And we also had a face appear in that same image. I have reviewed the other images though, and I'm highly disturbed. <laughs> I looked at the last image that was coming through for me that I thought seemed like underground lava or something. But now I look at it again, it looks like a rusted bathtub. Literally what I was laying in is getting under my skin. <laughs> but we're up here hoping to chase the matron. She is said to haunt this place. Maybe we were getting a sign downstairs to come up here. You know, we've been using Seer a few times now on our investigations to test it because at the time of filming this, it's not something we've released or told anybody about publicly. I reckon that was the most interesting one we've had so far. Okay, so we've got Ghost Tube rolling and we are walking down West Wing. What do you guys think? Do you get feelings of this corridor similar to the image that we received? Well, it's got like the lights, like the emergency lights above the door. The walls are like a sterile sort of colour. Even the floor a little bit, like there was a pattern on the floor. So my name is Amy, I'm here tonight with Jared. I don't know if we received a sign that we should come down here, but we would love to talk. Are you okay? I'm okay, I don't need any help. Are you here to help? Are you someone helpful, like a matron, a nurse? But I think she's there to look after the lost souls that are in West Wing. Because occasionally you'll hear, are you okay? Is that what you did? You helped people here? Please don't be shy. Please don't be scared of us. Come just to talk. We've heard that there's still people here, so we'd love to check in. I've heard that there is a, a man here as well. Can you guide us to a room? Somewhere you'd like us to go? Can you tell us why you're wandering these halls? People have seen you here. 
I do find it curious the first thing Ghost Dupe says is, are you okay? Like, if there is a matron here, maybe they have stuck around to continue helping people. Okay, can you help us? Is there anything you can do for us? Maybe we could help you help others. After being led to West Wing, we received nothing more than one response from Ghost Tube, and although it was interesting, we wanted to spend some more time reaching out. We decided to leave the hallway monitored by Ghost Tube SLS and also left out our EMF tripwire, along with some cat balls and a REM pod. While we entered one of the psychiatric cells we felt most drawn to, where we would conduct an EVP session in the hopes of capturing intelligent spirit communication. EVP rolling in West Wing. My name is Amy. I would love to uh, hear your name. If you can come up close to me and say it into these lights in my hands, maybe we can hear you. Can you tell us what brought you here? Joe and I felt as though we were drawn to this area of Jay Ward. Can you tell us who brought us here? Somebody showed us an image that had a face in it and a woman wearing a long white dress. Can you tell us something about that? We now reviewed our recording and noted one faint noise of interest, which coincided with a single blip from the REM pod in the hallway. Tagging Jared's foot. What's that? Can I just say something? What? I actually did hear that in the moment, but I thought it was just my mind playing tricks on me, so I didn't say anything. To me, it sounds like a bell ringing. Oh, okay. Like a little dingling. We now decided to mix up our investigation and partner with our good mates, Paranormal Quest. Dave and Ryan are incredible investigators, so if you've not already subscribed to their channel, I suggest changing that. I'll leave a link to their work and the episode from Jay Ward in the description for you to check out. Yet, for this part of the night, we decided to focus on the main jail cell block, which we had previously found to be incredibly active on our last visit. Here, we documented actual interference and glitches in our footage, and it's also where we slept overnight in a cell, which was quite spooky considering we documented some really loud sounds there. For this segment, we set up a thermal imaging camera to monitor the top of the cell block, where the old gallows are located, while we reached out on the bottom, where Dave decided to enter one particular cell to provoke a former inmate who was particularly violent, homophobic, and who had even lost an eye due to his aggressive behaviour. Dave has been really excited to go into one of the cells. So you're going to be going in alone, right? Yeah, I'm going to go in and sit with George. You're the ghost bait tonight? I'm the ghost bait Okay, tonight. great. Yeah. All right, watch your back in there, because George is a violent fella. That's what I've heard. Mm. But I've got one thing on George here, and that's I've got both of my eyes. Ooh, Ooh snap. I'm coming in. Or am I coming out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Trip wire just went off. You it did? Yes. On the stairs, yeah. I heard that you're a very angry guy. Are you in here with me? Did you hear that? Yeah. Sounded like it was up top. Someone up there. Why don't you come down here? Maybe you can walk down the stairs. I heard that. I heard that from in here. We do have a flare upstairs. Thermal imaging up near where the execution happened. I heard that. I heard that. Can you follow Ryan up? George, I heard that um, you lost a fight to a 13-year-old boy. 
punched your eye out, literally. How do you feel in there, Dave? I feel fine, actually. Yeah? Thinking about hopping on this bed here with George. What? What? What the f*** was that? Where you are you, that? Ryan? I did hear that, yeah. He's directly above you, Amy. Oh, that was over here, maybe? Yes. It sounded like that dummy or something almost just fell off of that. Something was... Whoa. Something just moved over here by the gallows. Can you push one of the dummies over? George, are we making you mad? Whoa. 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 Sorry. Sorry. The rec room, yeah. Rec room. There's a lot of noises up here. Ryan's up there, but they're not coming from where Ryan is, so it's not him. It was like here and then down by the hanging bay. Nothing seems to be out of place or moved. I don't see anything. To me, it sounds like someone was walking down that ledge towards where Ryan was. That's what it sounded like to me. We did spend some time trying to recreate and debunk these noises. To us, the sound was eerily similar to someone walking along the top walkway of the cell block, and we know for sure that that sound was not created by Ryan. And for him personally, he had felt as though someone was coming towards him. Oh. Tripwire. Tripwire just went off as you were coming down those stairs. Are you following me down or are you trying to stop me from coming down the stairs? Did you like having Ryan up there by himself? Maybe you can do something to give us a sign that's what you liked? I was standing right up here completely still when it sounded like there was like really fast and heavy movement from over here. So I turned that way to try and figure out what made that sound. And then there was a sound that came from down by the rec room so I had then immediately asked if they could make the sound again. And immediately it was like, I said, if, if you don't like Dave in there, push something over. And it just went bam from down there. I went and looked and I couldn't find anything that had fallen over, but it was a pretty heavy sound. With so many unexplained noises coming from upstairs, Dave decided to venture up too. All right, you got a new friend up there now. Can you make some noises for Dave? EMF on the stairs. Go on, go up there with Dave. With some activity still seemingly present, we decided to run Ghost Tube Vox to see if we could get any verbal answers as to who may be around us. We want to hear your voice. We want to know who you are. I'm. 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 Can you finish that? We'd like a name, please. Okay. This one door? This door? Can you give us maybe a cell number? Can you tell us who's in this cell that I'm standing by right now? Can you give us a name? Can you tell us how you feel about us being in here and interacting with you tonight? Is that you, Dave? That was not me, no. That was really weird. Was that, was that up or down? Was I, up? I, I actually thought it was down, but the echo just makes it so hard to work out where these noises are coming from, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can you tell us what crime you were charged with? That was me. Can you walk up to one of these? This is called a REM pod, it won't hurt you. Yeah, nice and close to it. Can show us where you are. Hi. Cool, I wanna to talk to the man. Can you step forward? Can you talk to me? I wanna hear your voice. They're attending the 
There are there 10, are ten in there. What was that? I, I heard there are 10 in there. Okay, where are there 10 of you? Because I want to go there. Tell me, guide me. Drug Drug Ovilus. Did that just say Ovilus? Or am I just hearing that? Four. 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 There's four of us. Okay, is four on this side? Oh shit. <laughs> um. You're not sure where four is? Uh, what about this side? There. Oh, this is that room, Jared. This what is room? the electroshock room? Yep. Can you tell me about this room? You remember when I slept here? Can you talk to me in here, please? I need you to tell me what happened to you or what happened in this place. Since we hadn't received any relevant responses for a while, I now decided to move upstairs. All right, I'm coming up. I wanna, is that me? Coming up with me. Just stomp around a bit, Ames. Something was following you. Okay, thank you. Come on. Follow Amy upstairs. Whoa. Whoa. Who was no. that? That wasn't you? No. There was just a knock on the steps and the, the trip light went off. trip wire went off. Oh, that noise cool. did sound similar to what we heard before as well. That's really right cool. There. Whoa, whoa. Who was that? Whoa, whoa. Who was that? Okay, if there's someone on the stairs, you can come up here with me. But if you come up here with me, you need to make some really loud noises up here. I know you did it for the boys when they were up here, and I'm jealous. I want the loud noises. Did you follow Amy up the steps? What did you think of the guards here? If you make a loud noise in one of the cells, I'll go into it. If there's a ghost in here, run up these stairs right now. Ooh, did you see it? It's uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amy's got it. Okay, if there is anyone here and you want us to stay, you need to do something big. You need to give us a sign right now. Okay, thank you. Inside George's cell, flux went off. Really? Yeah. That's your cell, Dave. That's my cell. That's your colon. Yeah. Are you wanting Dave to come back? Or are you getting lonely? What's wrong, George? You miss me? You don't want us to leave. That's great. Although in this moment, the flux, which is a paranormal device that is triggered by proximity, was set off within George's cell, indicating that the spirits did not want us to go. We did not receive any further interaction. It was truly a strange night at J Ward and made it all the better by being able to investigate with my friend's paranormal quest and Adelaide's haunted horizon, so I was lucky to join in on a Facebook Live investigation with. I'll never forget the images shown to us while using ghost tube seer in the creepiest bathtub ever and the intense, unexplainable noises we heard in that cell block. But we we're not done yet. Jared and I have just made it back over to the United States and we're currently busy filming new content and paranormal investigations for you all, which will be airing on my channel soon. So make sure you are subscribed and have all notifications switched on for my channel as our next episode kicks off this series with an extremely haunted jail in Arizona where some rather traumatic paranormal encounters have occurred and menacing entities continue to linger. I absolutely love Jay Ward. It's one of my favorite places to investigate anywhere in the world and I'm so excited that Paranormal Quest have been able to join me tonight it has been a lot of fun and honestly it's also been a lot of fun going to investigate a bunch of places down here in my home country with those guys i love them they're great make sure to check out their video and subscribe to the youtube channel of course i've got it linked below and also my friends at, at adelaide's haunted horizons they are amazing and they've made this whole trip possible really so definitely go check them out too show them some love 
their links are below too. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe because that really helps us out. If you want to do any more reading on JWoob, then head to my website, amyscrypt.com. And I also post bonus content on Patreon and my YouTube members that are linked below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.